All right, on today's Pymore tutorial, we're going to talk about asymmetrical floor covers. So, say a tarp that's not a perfect, um, a perfect, you know, rectangle that would fit your floor very well. So, there's a couple things that you can do here. Say you wanted to have a floor that had, uh, like this, that had a, you know, a painting on it, but it didn't have a, you know, an outline that, that worked well with, um, you know, with Pyware being a perfect, symmetrical uh, rectangle. Now you could do one of two things, of course, in real life, you could either have a tarp like this with the edges all torn out, or if you know you're gonna be performing on uh, a black floor, you could still make the outline of the rectangle a black so that it just blends in with the floor that's already there. That would probably be the easiest as far as folding and that sort of thing. But if not, if this is the style you're going with, the way that you can get this into Pyware correctly is to do a first step. I use Photoshop, uh, but you can use GIMP or any of the other free softwares maybe that do a, a similar thing. Um, you start a new file and uh, if your file is, or if your floor is like, in this instance, I'm going to do a 50 uh, by 70 inch floor. Uh, I'm going to change this so it's a little bit smaller than inches. I'll do maybe centimeters and we'll go width, 70, height, 50, and we'll keep the resolution 300. But we want to change this to transparent. So the background is transparent. Uh, we could also make the background black or tan or whatever it might be uh, for your performance circuit. So whatever your circuit uses as the base floor if you weren't to have a tarp. Uh, hit create. And then now you've got the perfect size uh, of your floor here, but it's a transparency. So uh, when you put your um, graphic on there, you just want to make sure you, you know, and make it as large as you can. Think about where you want the you know exact center to be. If you want to center it perfectly on here, or if you definitely want you know the top of this thing and the front of this to touch the the front and the back, and center it, and then there you go. Then you know uh, that's where whereabouts you want it to be. Or maybe you want this to be on the 50, so you're going to move this a little bit here, and that's going to be your your center point. It, it it's up to you how you'd like to. Uh, you know, center it essentially. All right, so then you would want to export it as a PNG and that would keep the transparency in the back, but with a size of a 50 by 70. So we go export file, export as PNG. We'll do asymmetrical floor cover and then we'll hit save. All right, so now we've got it on our desktop and we can see here that it comes up as the correct uh, dimensions. Then when we go into Pyware, I've already got a floor here set up. It's the 50 by 70, um, you know, the 50 by 70 grid in Pyware. And I have another video on how the differences between how to put these in um, you can use the grid designer. You go down here to floor cover. We'll navigate to the desktop. We'll pick our asymmetrical floor cover. We'll hit open. And then that should square it right in the center, right where you want it. And then you hit OK. Now, if we would have just done it with the original source uh, that we took it from, it would have kind of squished it like that. So it's important that you use that uh, you know, initial software to kind of get it to keep uh, the exact um, dimension. Okay, and, and hit OK. And then you should be able to see and design your drill over top of all this. Now, there is another way, of course, to add it to this, and it's usually the way that I choose to do it. So I'm going to remove this real quick. Floor cover. I'm going to hit cancel. It'll say remove existing floor. Yep, go ahead. And I use the uh, floor cover tool because that allows me to mess with the opacity. So I make it the size of the floor. 
I hit click floor cover image. Again, I go to the asymmetrical floor. It fills the shape, but then I can do this floor opacity 30% and then I hit accept. And that allows me to see the grid a little bit better, but it also um, allows me to see, you know, if I'm charting on the image. So, and it does that without messing up the real view. So there's a couple different ways to do it, but that I feel like is the best way to get um, a good look to what you're going for if you have an asymmetrical floor is making a transparency PNG file, keeping the right uh, dimensions uh, using a, a product like GIMP or Photoshop or any of these other ones that are uh, free to use to create a transparency. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.